Hello, I'm Dr. Carnell Farkerson, and today we'll be discussing allergic rhinosinusitis. Allergic rhinosinusitis refers to the inflammation of the lining of the nasal passages and the facial sinuses. This occurs when specific substances called allergens get into these areas and cause irritation. When the irritation occurs, it causes excess mucus production, sneezing, runny, watery eyes, and nasal congestion. You may also have itchiness of the eyes, ears, nose, or throat. Affected persons may also have cough that tends to be worse at night. They may also have sore throat, headache, pain over the cheeks, forehead, temple area, as well as generalized tiredness. There are many different types of allergens, but the four main types are pollen from plants, grass, and trees, house dust mites found in curtains, shelves, clothes, carpets, fabric furniture, bed sheets, pillows, mattresses, or floating in the air, seeds from molds which are found in dark, moist places like bathrooms, air-conditioned vents, refrigerators, and cabinets with leaky faucets, and the fourth is residue from animal saliva and some animal hair like dogs and cats. Similar symptoms may occur to non-allergic chemicals which cause direct irritation to the lining. These include heavy perfumes, odors, smoke, including from cigarette, gas fumes, and cleaning products like ammonia. Diagnosis of allergic rhinosinusitis is based on the symptoms. However, we also take into consideration the time of year that it occurs, as well as the duration and frequency of the symptoms. There are specific blood and skin tests that can be done that can also identify what it is that you are allergic to. Treatment for rhinosinusitis primarily involves environmental control, and that essentially is removing or trying to avoid as much as possible what it is that is causing the irritation. These can include removing carpets, curtains, and pets from the home, or having them cleaned frequently with chemicals that kill dust mites. Dusting regularly, cleaning air-conditioned vents, and cleaning or changing the filters frequently, and cleaning dust off ceiling fans regularly. Placing air purifiers in the work or home, especially in rooms where you spend most of your time, for example, the bedroom. Removing potted plants, cleaning the refrigerator, and checking dark, moist areas frequently for mold, and using bleach or anti-mildew cleaners to remove them. Avoid perfumes, heavy smoke, including cigarette smoke, and use chemicals only in well-ventilated areas. When treating allergic rhinosinusitis, there are several classes of medications that can be used. The most common ones and most available are the antihistamine, like Benadryl, which blocks the allergen from causing the irritation. Decongestants, which reduce the nasal congestion and relieve the pressure, pain, and headache associated with the inflammation. Intranasal corticosteroids, which calm the irritated lining of the nose and sinuses and also help to prevent the inflammation from occurring. Leukotriene inhibitors, which also prevent the allergen from causing the irritation. These medications work in different ways for varying lengths of time, affecting specific symptoms, and having different side effects which can be mild to moderate. Whichever treatment choice is made, be sure that the relief you receive from it will make a significant difference in your quality of life. Until next time.